You've said that these Dutch farmers are rising up against what you've called the communist agenda of the global elites. What did you mean by that? Well, it's communism to the T. If the state comes in and says, I'm going to take away your property for a so-called greater good, I don't know what could be more you know, essential to communism than that. So it's communism, and I'm saying that it's, it's being done on a global scale, because this is part of a bigger agenda than just the agenda of the Dutch government. Yes, it's true that the Dutch government wants the, the farmer's land for one reason is to, to house new immigrants, but this is also because they are following an agenda called the 2030 agenda. These are these are restrictions and, and climate regulations that are that are imposed all over the world. So we're being hit hardest right now, and we might be the first ones, but it's very important for other people to know that they could be coming to you next. As an example of these restrictions in Sri Lanka, the government abruptly banned chemical fertilizers in an attempt to become 100% organic. Now, a food and economic crisis is devastating the country. Do you think we're going to see more of these policies and protests continue? Yes, yes. We already see now that in Italy, farmers have gone out on the street as well. In Poland, farmers are going out. So it's spilling over, which is a really good sign, because like I said, these restrictions are going to be uh, very relevant for everyone, because it's obviously it's a global agenda. They want us to eat bugs. <laughs> they want us to eat the fake meat that they produce. So it's, it's very clear that this is not something that just the Dutch people will be subjected to. And that's why we need your support from other countries. And what do you think Americans can take away from what's happening in the Netherlands? Well, I, from a Dutch perspective, I would say that Americans should be very happy that they have a Second Amendment and that you should protect that with all your, all your strength. Ava Vlaardingerbroek, thank you so much. Thank you.